Hey everyone, Ricky here, back with a quick update regarding the LCS Aquarium. As some of you may know, last year we launched a 24-7 live-streamed saltwater aquarium, dubbed the LCS Aquarium. We did fish predictions, we had fish trying to jump out, Archibald the Tux had a bunch of hats. Overall, it was a beautiful and great time. Well today, I'm excited to announce that tomorrow at 2 p.m. we'll be relaunching the LCS Aquarium live at twitch.tv slash flyquest. Before we get to all the awesome updates in the tank, I want to talk about why we're doing this and how it relates to our Sunny Quest initiative. When you own a saltwater aquarium, you learn that stability is the most important thing to aquatic health. One of the most important parameters for continuing life in the water is temperature. Even the tiniest degree in temperature outside of a coral's happy place can lead to its demise. So while waters across the globe are heating up due to the climate change crisis, we are seeing collateral damage across the board. Massive coral bleaching and population decimation of once plentiful fish. To put it simply, we're destroying the homes of a lot of small fish out there, and that's bad for a lot of reasons. That's why we're gonna be donating all subs and donations straight to the American Solar Energy Society as part of our Sunny Quest initiative. We've still got your favorite fish from last year, Thomas the Tang, Swim Shady, Sherlock Chromes, Nemo, Penny the Blenny, Kobe the Royal Grandma, and Archibald the Tuxedo Merchant. But unfortunately, we lost Willow the Rass, who earlier this year decided to leap out of the tank into the afterlife, she will be missed. Rest in peace, Willow. So we decided to get a Melanaris Rass. She's a beautiful fish with these awesome line designs on her body. They're the best at eating pests and keeping our coral healthy, so we had to have one. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about corals and rockscape. You can see that the tank has changed dramatically since we've set it up. We've added a variety of euphilia corals like hammers, torches, and frog spawn, along with a number of LPS and soft corals like Blastamusa, Leathers, Acans, Zoas, and Duncans. If you're wondering about LCS fish predictions, cha-cha, they'll be back. But this time they're gonna be in Spanish on LCS and Vivo, our Spanish language co-stream of the LCS. Every single weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching today, our update about the LCS Aquarium. I hope to see all of you guys there tomorrow, twitch.tv slash flyquest at 2 p.m. for the grand reunveiling of the LCS Aquarium. Be sure to follow us here, subscribe on YouTube, hit us with a follow on twitch.tv, and we will see you tomorrow.